Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our presentation today. We'd like to thank the World Vaccine Congress for inviting us back to present. I'm Erin Spiegel, the Vice President of Clinical and Regulatory Affairs at PharmaGen, and I'll give an overview of our needle-free injection devices and show some collaborator data with novel vaccines against the COVID-19 virus. PharmaJet designs and manufactures needle-free injection systems that deliver a spring-powered injection in a tenth of a second by means of a narrow stream of fluid that penetrates the skin. There's no need for an external power source and no needle. Our two commercialized systems are the Tropus intradermal system and the Stratus intramuscular or subcutaneous system. Each system delivers a set dose of 0.1 ml and 0.5 ml respectively for the two systems. These systems are validated and commercially available and with wide regulatory clearances. Both systems have shown improved clinical results and provide an alternative to needle or electroporation delivery. Finally, both systems provide an improved patient and caregiver experience with increased safety and comfort, which also has resulted in increased vaccine compliance. The PharmaJet Stratus and Tropus systems were designed to have a similar workflow as tra traditional needle and syringe delivery, making it easier for healthcare workers to become proficient. The steps are outlined and shown here. The first step is to prepare the injector by charging the spring. Next, you fill the needle-free syringe using our filling adapter that fits on any standard vial. After inserting the filled syringe into the injector, the, injector is the injection is given with the push of a button. The injections are rapid and consistent. The systems are easy to use and become proficient with in about 20 minutes of training and practice. PharmaJet has gained regulatory clearances for both devices around the world, both in the US and in Europe and in various other markets. We continue to obtain clearances in countries and markets looking to move away from needle and syringe delivery to a safer, effective option. PharmaJet is also the first and only needle-free injection devices to achieve pre-qualification status with the WHO. The Tropus device is being deployed as part of the WHO polio eradication effort around the world. For vaccination with inactivated polio vaccine, two intradermal vaccinations about a month apart have been shown to be superior to one intramuscular injection. And like I mentioned earlier, Tropus is being used around the world for intradermal IPV injections and mass vaccination campaigns. This is due in part to the difficulties and increased training necessary to utilize intradermal injection with needles using the MANTU technique shown here on the left. With the Tropus device on the right, fast, accurate, and consistent intradermal injections are easy to perform anywhere. The most recent vaccination campaigns for IPV with Tropus have been in the Gambia, Cuba, and Pakistan. Overall, it was found to be easy to roll out and train vaccinators faster than needle and syringe, and areas using Tropus showed an improvement in vaccination compliance over needle delivery. In the Gambia, it was shown that because our devices have no dead volume, like a traditional needle and syringe does, our systems can utilize all vaccine in a vial, and we are able to vaccinate 63 children from a 50-dose vial. In Cuba, trained vaccinators expressed a very high satisfaction and likelihood to recommend the Tropus device to others. In large campaigns in Pakistan, in the last two years, up to 1 million children were vaccinated in a very short period of time, period of time with highest acceptability of Tropus by both vaccinators and the parents and caregivers of the children over needle and syringe delivery. Vaccine coverage with Tropus, as I said earlier, also increased over 18% over previous campaigns using needle. PharmaJet needle-free systems have been used with DNA-based platforms across many indications, not only for vaccines, but also for immunotherapy applications. We have found that jet delivery improves the immunogenicity response of the vaccines over needle and syringe delivery and enables responses similar to what has been seen with electroporation. We currently have over 60 collaborators, mostly in the nucleic acid space, that are anywhere in development of vaccines and therapeutics from bench studies through phase three clinical trials. These are, um, on this slide, our six, 
um, 16 collaborations with COVID-19 applications using the PharmaJet injection systems, either Stratus or Tropus as indicated by the arrow colors. Um, most, as you can tell, are in preclinical development, but four are starting or are in um, clinical studies, with the most advanced um, being the Zytus Cadilla in phase three in India. Um, now I'll show some of the preliminary data for a few of these vaccines. The immunogenicity of the SaudiVax DNA vaccine was tested in two mouse models in BALB-C and C57 black 6 j Immunization induced long-lasting IgG responses in mice that lasted for about six months. Using the PharmaJet Tropus needle-free system, they showed an enhanced immunogenicity of the vaccine in which lower doses down to 25 to 50 micrograms or alternatively even fewer doses were able to elicit significantly high levels of Th1 bias systemic S-specific IgG antibodies and neutralizing antibodies as shown here compared to needle immunization where they only saw um, responses with 100 microgram doses or higher. Furthermore, um, needle-free immunization with this vaccine induced potent S-specific cellular responses as demonstrated by uh, the significantly high levels of interferon alpha, TNF, and IL-2 cytokines produced in memory CD8 positive or CD8 and CD4 positive T cells in BALB-C mice. Um, the use of PharmaJet's system enhanced the immunogenicity of this vaccine and could possibly minimize doses needed to induce protective immunity, as they showed here in mice, supporting further preclinical and clinical testing of this uh, candidate vaccine. Recently also with the DNA vaccine against SARS-CoV-2, Jay Hooper's group at US AMRID evaluated the protection of this vaccine in a hamster viral challenge model. Injected with Tropis, the vaccine proved immunogenic and elicited high titer neutralizing antibodies after the second injection. The hamper, hamsters were also protected from disease after viral challenge and both viral RNA and live virus, um, as you can see in the graphs um, on the bottom right, were significantly decreased in the lungs in vaccinated animals versus controls. A previously designed MERS va DNA vaccine here gave good neutralizing antibodies against MERS with no cross reactivity to the SARS-CoV-2 um, virus. Um, currently there is an ongoing non-human primate study at US AMRID evaluating this vaccine. Um, Gene One has also developed a DNA vaccine against SARS-CoV-19 virus. Uh, that has been tested in animal, many um, small animal models, including rats, which is um, what we're presenting here. In this study, rats were immunized intradermally twice using tropis. Antibodies um, and neutralizing antibody titers were strong, uh, especially in the 300 microgram dose group, as you can see here. Cellular immune responses were also measured in these animals and showed induction of spike-specific T cells after the second immunization with a dose response similar to what was seen with the antibody responses. Gene 1 is now enrolling in a phase 1-2 clinical trial to evaluate dose escalation as well as safety and immunogenicity of this vaccine. After their initial mouse and guinea pig studies of their, co their COVID-19 DNA vaccine, BioNet Asia conducted a safety and immunogenicity study at the maximum human dose of four milligrams in two doses in non-human primates. Um, after the first dose, the vaccine induced anti-RVD antibodies, and after the second dose, it induced neutralizing antibodies above the cutoff of 20%. Of 20%. Um, cellular immune responses were also evaluated, and after one dose, the vaccine induced T cell responses specific to S1 that had no reactivity to S2. And this response was stabilized after two doses. This vaccine, Covigen, is currently being evaluated uh, with Stratus and Tropis in a phase one clinical trial with um, 150 volunteers as the first DNA-based COVID vaccine trial in Australia. Um, as I mentioned earlier, our collaborator Zytus Cadilla is currently the most progressed COVID-19 vaccine using PharmaJet injection in a phase three study in India with their DNA-based um, COVID-19 vaccine, Zycov-D. 
Some of these um, published non-human primate data um, is shown here where they selected a two milligram dose and three vaccination time points delivered um, intradermally with the Tropus device. Overall, they saw higher responses with Tropus compared to needle and syringe delivery and better protection from challenge with the live virus. The two milligram dose, which is group four shown here, um, administered with Tropus elicited a significant immune response with development of IgG antibodies um, that were maintained and showed an increase during the 15 week immunization period and after viral challenge with elevated B cells one day after challenge. The needle and syringe group in this study looked similar to the vector control group in that it didn't elicit um, responses throughout the study. Again, uh, group four, which is the Tropus two milligram dose group, um, performed better than the other groups in that these animals had earlier, um, the earliest appearance of neutralizing antibodies that increased through day 103 with high titers. These um, higher titers continued through, through the viral challenge portion. And not shown here for purposes of time, but um, during the viral challenge in group four, um, animals also showed a higher rate of reduction in viral load in nasal and throat swabs and faster viral clearance from lung lobes as well. As I mentioned earlier, uh, this vaccine is currently in phase three in India um, with results expected soon. As I have shown here, the benefits of PharmaJet's needle-free delivery systems are far reaching, not only for nucleic acid vaccines, which we uh, mostly showed here, but for all injectables. Um, the elimination of needles gets rid of the need for sharps disposal and the risk of needle stick injuries. While this presentation has concentrated on DNA vaccines, we have not found an injectable that has not been successful with our devices. Um, we have ongoing clinical studies and commercial programs which with traditional and activated vaccines and other types of vaccines and therapeutics, including those for personalized medicine. The PharmaJet systems allow for an alternative deli delivery method to get away from sharps or electroporation and to allow fast and easy injections in field environments with improved vaccine immunogenicity and opportunities for dose savings. Um, I'd like to thank the collaborators um, shown here whose data was highlighted in this presentation. And I'd like to thank you all for attending. Please let us know in the chat if you have any questions and feel free re to uh, reach out to Marilyn, Kira, or myself if you'd like further information or would be interested in collaborating with us. Thank you.